rookie season in the NBA, and um, you know it's, it's something that's kind of propelled me uh, every year. Um, in, in my eyes, you know, obviously I've I've done a lot, a lot, uh, a lot of great things in the NBA now. Uh, 60 win team, Eastern Conference Finals, uh, playoff first couple years in a row, uh, set new career highs last season, but um, still, still have that 499 mentality, uh, working hard every day, um, you know, and just trying to get better. Game trip for the Wizards, good poke away by Baines. Oh! Get the top! Oh, you're talking about getting your pocket picked. Baines, got it. Baines is the momentum of this game, and it started with Kent Baines, really picked it up, and there he is again. Off the bounce. Kent Baines is red hot. Never back down. That's the same thing I carried into the NBA. I'm back down from anybody, and that's why I'm still around. You guys play that way all year. I don't see anybody beat you. I think it's a solid position for me to come in and just do what I do best. Um, you know, in Atlanta, I guess the outlook on the franchise shifted a little bit, and I kind of got caught in the middle of that, and you know, trying to reinvent myself in the middle of it all, and. Uh, but I'm, I'm here and I can do the things that, I, that I'm uh, put on the surf to do. My ultimate goal is to build an academy and, um, you know, just, just help kids as much as I can because it's, it's not about you know, taking tests, it's just like enduring the things of life, just, you know, learning, you know, for me, my rookie year, I didn't set up my auto pay, I missed three payments, you know, like, you know, just small things like that, learning how to, you know, just do life, you know, just, you know, keep the, keep the small mistakes out of the way and just, you know, grind. Hey, Grant. Oh, I just got something on his bag, I think he said X, or whatever, you know, autographing one thing and I'll be right with it. you have left here, you're all the way across the country, you're seeing different places. Tell me what it feels like when you come back home, when you come back to Bertie County, mm. California. Uh, it's a breath of fresh air um, to, to, to travel all the places I've seen uh, and to go into, you know, different communities in the cities I've played in. Uh, a lot of these places aren't any different from, you know, where we are. It's just, uh, it's a different mentality in other areas and, you know, that's what I try to bring back here is, uh, you know, you just got to dream big, and as you work, as you put in the work, you know, the higher you go, you will find your level of satisfaction in life and what makes you happy. And that's what it's all about. You know, not every player is going to go to the NBA. Uh, I had a very talented point guard at uh, Old Dominion that you know could score as much as he wanted. You know, and you know we won a couple championships in, in college, and that was enough for him. You know, so. Um, you don't have to go to the NBA to reach your overall happiness. You just have to, you know, just work. And you know, one day you're going to wake up and say, that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really content with, you know, what I've been able to do. And you can try to find your next chapter. And uh, you just got to dream big. Awesome. Yep. Go and make mine up, huh? Right. <laughs> hey, just keep working on it while you're in practice, man. Keep working on it. Drop that right hand. You got your eyes on the ground. The only reason why you're making that pass is because the big guy on defense did his job coming over. The guard that's guarding him did a good job coming down, getting on the big man. The only pass you got now is the corner. Good job. Put your eyes on the ground.
You guys come down here right quick. Just to have court. We want to explain the next drill. Hold the ball, Joe. So if my team is there and I catch the ball and I do this, that is a shot. That is wide open. That is wide open. If I catch it and he's a little bit closer, then I got my games. But you always want to be a threat to shoot. So when the pass comes to you like this and you're sitting down in the stands, which is very few times. Especially in the league, and a lot of guys, we just kind of, I mean, we play so many games. Only the very disciplined guys, J.J. Reddix, uh, Joe Harris, uh, Doug McDermott, those guys are guys that are always like this. I mean, they, I mean, they grew up doing it, so it's, it's just tough for us to kind of, you know, be like this all night. I'm an athlete. I like, I like to be moving. It's tough for me to sit in position. But the very few times that you are, and you catch that thing, and you step, that's got to go up. Got to go with. A lot of you guys turned that shot down yesterday. Like I said, volume shooting has become more of a priority now than what you make. Because you need to space the defense. If you're a guy that don't don't shoot a lot, I guarantee you, you start shooting, you start shooting, the guys will start running at you. Now you get through the paint. I'm living proof of that. I want a great shooter coming out of college. I can shoot a little bit. When I got to the league, I worked on it. Kept shooting. I kept shooting. And their guys are, instead of helping, they're a little bit closer, and there's no chance now. Again, yeah, by I'm just, I got, I got lanes, I can drive. I mean, I got guys going for my shot fake. It's just all getting up the reps. So when the guy passes it to you, you step in, let it go. That's, that's an important life skill, right? That you build relationships with everybody. Even, you know, your janitors, your, your anybody, anybody that's, that you see, you got to build relationships with you because you never know who you're going to need later on in life. So that's an important tip that I wanted to share with you guys. Take your time. You come off, people will jumble up front guards. You come off, people will jumble up, back it up, get your guys in their spots. Get that space. Be a floor jump. When I was in college, we started at 6 a.m., right? So we had 6 a.m. weights, went to class. Um, you know, we had a workout going class, depending on how your class schedule is, is set up. I mean, you don't want to. It's a lot of stories of guys that had an opportunity but couldn't hold it together. I mean, you want one of those stories. And my brother said, you know, it's a simple rule. Just don't do dumb stuff. Go simple. Don't do anything stupid. Stay out of trouble. You know, get a good, good group of friends. You can be a great defender. Y'all, man, y'all guard me, y'all guard anybody. 499 on three. One, two, three. 499.